Does your bow have a name? Varric's bow has a name. I'm afraid I can't compete with our dear dwarf's relationship to his weapon. You could call it Philomela. Why would I do that? Because it reminds me of a woman in the alienage. Skinny, pointed, and always... Are you certain it's her? An elf matching your description on the ship you named. And alone, as far as I could tell. I need to know if it's a trap. I did as you asked, Fenris. Now it's up to you. You talk to him, Hawk. I've had my fill for today. Then heed is fast of us. Maybe I can help, Fenris. Nah. <sighs> It's my sister. I didn't tell you, but I followed up on Hadriana's information. Everything she said was true. I had to keep it quiet, but I eventually contacted Verania and sent her coin enough to come meet me. And now she's here. She was in Carinus after all. My sister left Magister Araman's service, and I found her in Minrathus. That made things more difficult. But according to the men I paid, it's just as Hadriana said. She's not a slave. She's a tailor, in fact. Getting a letter to her was difficult, and she didn't believe me at first. But she's finally come. You're worried Daenerys knows? The more it seems he doesn't know, the more certain I become he does. Come with me, Hawk. I need you there when I meet her. I thought you said there was no point in meeting her. I can't simply leave it like this. I have to know. If we go to the Hanged Man during the day, she'll be there, for the next week at least. It would mean a lot to me. That's all I ask. It really is, you. Verania? I... I remember you. We played in our master's courtyard while mother worked. You called me... Leto. That's your name. What's wrong? Why are you so... It's a trap. Ah, my little Fenris. Predictable as always. I'm sorry it came to this, Leto. You led him here. 
Now, now, Fenris, don't blame your sister. She did what any good Imperial citizen should. I never wanted these filthy markings, Daenerys. But I won't let you kill me to get them. <laughs> How little you know, my pet. And this is your new master, then? The champion of Kirkwall? Impressive. Fenris doesn't belong to anyone. Do I detect a note of jealousy? <laughs> it's not surprising. The lad is rather skilled, isn't he? Shut your mouth, Daenerys! <sighs> the word is master. No choice, Leto. Stop calling me that. He was going to make me his apprentice. I would have been a magister. You sold out your own brother to become a magister. You have no idea what we went through, what I've had to do since Mother died. This was my only chance. And now you have no chance at all. Please, don't do this. Please, tell him to stop. This can't be stopped now. I would have given you everything. I thought discovering my past would bring a sense of belonging, but I was wrong. 
Magic has tainted that too. There is nothing for me to reclaim. I am alone. Magic has nothing to do with this, Fenris. No. Greed for it didn't bring Daenerys here, make my sister betray me. I feel unclean, like this magic is not only etched into my skin, but has also stained my soul. And now, oh, this. Let's go. I need to get out of here. Still owe me five sovereigns, Elf. I'm good for it. So you think you can win the coin from Isabella? <laughs> good luck with that. Coming to the Hanged Man for Wicked Grace later? You know... You could go anywhere you like now. I'm aware of that. Oh, you could become a raider. You could join my crew. The crew of your non-existent ship? Well, with that attitude, you're never going anywhere, are you? She doesn't understand. Yes, I am free. Daenerys is dead. Yet... It doesn't feel like it should. You thought killing him would solve everything. But it doesn't. I suppose not. I thought if I didn't need to run and fight to stay alive, I would finally be able to live as a free man does. But how is that? Whatever past I had died with my sister. I have nothing now. Not even an enemy. Maybe that just means there's nothing holding you back. Hmm. An interesting thought. It's just... difficult to overlook the stain that magic has left on my life. If I seem bitter, it's not without cause. Perhaps it is time to move forward. I just don't know where that leads. Do you? You're still blaming magic for everything. Think about it, Hawk. Look at what happened to your mother. Look at the life you've had to lead. Is there anyone whose life has been touched by magic that actually benefits? Blaming magic isn't the answer. For every mage such as you, Hawk, there are a dozen more too weak to handle their power. Them I fear, as should you, as should anyone. But what's important now is moving forward. I only wish I knew where that led. Nobody knows the future, Fenris. The future of a slave is never uncertain. But I am no longer a slave. Perhaps it is time I remember that. Thank you, Hawk. I would never have thought to call a mage my friend. Yet here you are. Wherever the future leads, I hope it is at your side.
sick as sin. I'm going to have to do some shopping upstairs pretty soon. I have something I think you might like. Uh... I see. Sometimes people get things for other people they like. This is the part where you say thank you. I know that, you goose. Don't you know what this is? It's a Ravani fertility talisman. These petal-like shapes represent... certain fleshy bits. And this protrusion is... Well, just look. You're an expert on Ravani talismans, are you? My mother was a Ravani seer. Or, rather, she pretended to be. She knew enough about the old tribal practices to put on a convincing act. She used to hand these things out to women all the time. I knew it was a little crude. I just thought you'd appreciate it. You like vulgar things. Well, yes. Books with bawdy poetry and pictures to illustrate, but this is something else. Ravani women would wear these so that their wombs would be fruitful and their marriages blessed with many children. Not that they worked, of course. <laughs> Seems to me you either have a fruitful womb or you don't. Thank you. It's nice to have something to remind me of my homeland. things ever happened to this city. So who is Bianca? But why Bianca? You must have named her after someone. Nope. Mirabelle was taken. The way you fondle your weapon is disturbing. Hey, I'm a perfect gentleman.
You should have this back. Twine? When did I loan you a ball of twine? Drove the merchants in the market completely back. But it did help me find my way. Keep it, Daisy. I don't think I'll be getting lost again anytime soon. Oh, you never know. Might need to tie a package up, hang a lamp.